It's something that hasn't happened in decades. Now, Temple University's president plans to move his family to North Philadelphia. It comes in the wake of a rash of violent crime near campus. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo. We're really excited to move here. Temple University President Jason Wingard, his wife Gingy, and their teenage son are soon relocating to this North Philadelphia home on Carlisle Street to be closer to the school's campus. It's a modest row home, but it's perfect. It's close to campus. We have students to live here. We have residents who have lived here. As the four bedroom, two bath house undergoes renovations, students have mixed reactions. I think it'll be really nice because you get to actually see what it's like. I do think that it's a good way for him to get connected to the community, but I don't know if it will do as much as possible as he thinks it will to address um, the relationship that Temple has with the community. Being in the community also means the first family facing the challenges at hand, like the recent spike in crime near campus. That includes three home invasions last month, police said appeared to target Temple students. A fourth off campus home where students lived was firebombed, and just over the last week, there were two separate incidents of students held up at gunpoint near campus by a masked man. Do they have a PR problem? Absolutely. Brian Hart of the Philly based public relations firm Flackable is also a 2012 Temple graduate. PR isn't their biggest problem right now. Student safety is the big problem. And until they can get that under control, um, it's going to continue to haunt them. Hart also calls Wingard's move appropriate, so Wingard insists it's been planned for about a year and a half. If this is my home, if my wife and I live here, and we're fully engaging with the residential community and the business community, it allows us to have partnerships, Temple University, with the community in a way that we've never had before. In North Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.